if you can't dream about something you can't get it if somebody innovates um, it's something you learn from Failure is awesome. Entrepreneur India is with Dipinder Goyal. He doesn't need uh, uh, to be introduced. He has uh, led the biggest food tech startup in India. Zomato is uh, is I don't need to say it. It's a startup that is that is unmatched, unbeatable. It's uh, in twenty uh, countries already. Dipinder says they're now going to be launching uh, Zomato Arabia. There is there is absolutely no cap to what he wants to do. He's he's out there to capture the world. I'm going to get from Dipinder. Uh, what uh, is the power of dreams really for you? For me, it's more about uh, if you can't dream about something, you can't get it. Right. So you have to be able to visualize it in some form or fashion to be able to make that happen. I see. Did you ever think Zomato will become this big? Did you, when you were starting your inception idea, did you think you wanted to make a conglomerate or you just started with an idea? I think we only think like three to six months out. Like we have a long term vision, but uh, our expectations of what reality needs to become is only like three, six months out, right? So uh, maybe in December, um, I would have said to myself, I would be super happy if Zomato was here in April or May. I see. Fantastic. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, you, there are many other food tech startups in India now. Is there any food tech idea that gives you the jitters? Not really. And I don't think we are those kind of people. Uh, a problem is a problem and it needs to be solved. Right? So if somebody innovates, um, it's something to learn from. It's Fantastic. That's a great idea. Uh, you know, you've maintained the culture of the unique culture that startups have of um, letting uh, employees, letting um, uh, employees become owners themselves. The ownership mentality is something that startups boast of, and Zomato is a fantastic example of that. Uh, with that perspective, do you feel that uh, the ownership mindset that you have granted to your managers, to your employees, to your stakeholders, it is a it is a boon for your business? And how do you do goal setting in that ecosystem? So, um, I mean, founders generally operate at a level where they don't set goals for themselves and they do the best that they can, like 5x, 10x, whatever growth. and. Um, I've always tried to create a team where everybody works with a founder's mindset, so where they don't need goals, they will anyway do their best. I see. And uh, putting pressure on people to do work beyond what they can anyway do doesn't work. Giving people goals which are less than what they can do doesn't work. So. Sure. Okay. What do you expect the Indian youth to do? Uh, do you think that we are um, we are born leaders and uh, we deserve to try entrepreneurship and uh, become better than the best? I think uh, people have to look at um, their risk profiles and what their life lets them be. And uh, I mean, I think uh, people overestimate the uh, amount of risk or damage that open uh, that doing a startup can do to their lives. Like a couple of years here or there, like or even more, doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. So if you leave your job, go to a startup. The worst case scenario is you land in the same place you were at two years ago. Sure. How does that matter? Right? So. Sure. Sure. So you are you're all in for taking the risk and following your dream and do your passion yeah okay depend that the one thing that you want to tell um, everybody who fears failure failure is awesome <laughs> says I a think, startup founder <laughs> I think failure is no actually uh, I mean I think um, at a like if you're within Zomato you would see that we fail like maybe 100 times a day on various things sure. right so um, the net sum of everything still uh, we are able to manage uh, to make make it positive but we fail so many times and I think failure is great um, that's where you learn from and actually innovate the uh, future I see okay do you want Zomato to become number one do you think you're number one does it matter to be number one 
no i don't think i think number 1 or number 2 is a state of mind so it's an infinite game right so somebody can be number 1 right now somebody can be number 1 later um, i don't think uh, there's any such thing as winning there is this you just have to be able to continue to play for it as long as possible so glad to hear the pinder he has to many many winning years ahead <laughs> thank you so much for this conversation thank you sir.